question the function p is defined by p of x is a into x plus 4 squared minus b then x plus 4 squared minus c a b c are constants and are like in the x y plane the graph of y is equal to p of x plus to the point minus 3 24 0 1 4 5 what is the value of p of minus 9 plus p of minus 3 so the first time i, I took my sat in december i really shallow had to get this question correct but there's an easier way any time you are given two points you just have to plug it in this motion right? so you just come here the plus button here and you press table and then just put in your points there so minus three and 24 then your next point will be zero and one four five right now after you plug in your point you are going to put in the equation which was given this equation this equation i'm going to put this equation inside here right they just so we have so i'm replacing it here let's have to replace p of x with y1 and also x with x1 right so basically have y1 is p of um um sorry p of x1 plus 4 just have to point in everything but you just have to make sure that you basically replace all the x with x1 Right. this is called regression for regression this model does not rec recognize um x right so you have to put in x1 sorry minus c i forgot to put in the squares there yeah yes so yeah so essentially this is what it gives me for a b and c right so when i get here what i basically do is that i i think on the testing software it's not possible to copy right i'm going to copy it here because i have to do it very fast i'm just, I'm just basically going to copy it and paste here right now after copying and pasting i'm going to write a normal equation right so here's going to be p of x right then I would basically replace the values of um, a b and c as what you have here right? so i can just copy it here on this day you can't copy but i think you can type it faster and you probably not get um these kind of decimals and stuff right so i'm basically replacing everything i got here yeah so i'm basically done putting the function inside then it says what's the value of p of minus 9 plus p of minus t so you basically come here p of minus 9 and then plus p of minus 3 then it gives you your answer 290.571 point yeah so on this mode you can only put in five i think five characters right so that's basically 290.5 you can also leave it in two 290.6 right rounded or not rounded it's going to give you the correct answer right so it leaves you here and then you give your answer right yes so we move on to the next question yes move on to the next question now this is the next question it says um the positive number a is five thousand six hundred percent of the number c and c is 40 percent of the number b if a minus b is equal to wc then w is a constant what's the value of w yeah, so basically for this you can also use desmos here i just going to bring in this two kelly bracket then that sign i don't know what the sign is i are basically going to use this sign right and um it says a is five thousand six hundred percent of c right so i'm going to put in the a here then five thousand six hundred then you put the percentage it's just going to give you the off right of c then it also says C is 40% of B, right? So you come here, C is also 40% of B, right? Yeah. Then it says if A minus B is WC, right? So I'm going to put A minus B here. A minus B. 
is um, WC then it's asking for the value of C right but you realize that I'm not getting any answer here right so what we can basically do is that we can make a any number so let's make a hundred right replace a with hundred then replace all the a's with hundred right uh, yeah that's it right so replacing all the a's with hundred realize i get my w to be this right so i can just put in w here and w is 53.5 107 over 2 that's your answer right so you're just going to put it there that's the correct answer right so i'm fine <laughs> i'm just you know i'm sure this is my first youtube video so yeah the next question is an object travels 30 miles in two hours what's the average speed in miles per hour of the object right this is very simple it wants the speed in miles per hour right so basically you're going to put in 30 on 2 that gives you 15 so your answer here would simply be 15 right i'll move on to the next question it's a geometry question right so this is, this is in the figure shown what a b c move it back so let me move it back a little bit to get a perfect view of it right okay now in the figure shown a b c and e lie on the circle and a b is less than b c segment a c is perpendicular to the segment b e at point d and b d is root of 320 the diameter of the circle is 160 if c d is over a d is r here yeah, it's supposed to be over a d right so like something like over a d um slash yes t d over a d is r there was the value of r so here the only formula you have to know right the only formula you have to know here is that when you're giving a question like this just know that um the magnitude of ac the magnitude of ac times sorry the magnitude of a b times times the magnitude of bc is equal to b d um squared b d squared right yes so essentially this is everything you have to know a d times d c is b d squared right yeah with this you can solve the question right so um they give you the length of b d right they give you the length of bd to be root of 320 and they gave you the diameter right so the diameter is basically ac and i'm saying ac is 160 yeah they are saying ac is 160 right so we can make ad let's say x and we can make dc 160 minus x so sorry small x here yeah, so essentially what we are going to do here is that we are going to put in the variables here and just replace it like basically in an equation form right so um ad which is x um i want us to use the regression formula so let's see x1 times um 160 minus x1 then use that so i don't know the name of this but you use this regression symbol it's also the same as equal to it's equal to 320 right reason why i use 320 is because um it's squared right and here was square root of 320 so square root of 320 is basically you are basically squaring it here so you're going to get 320 that's why i use 320 here right and i'm saying um if cd over ad is r then what's the value of r so from here cd is 160 minus x right so you can just get the fraction 160 minus x and a d it's also x right basically an a d is um x right so replace with x1 right 
we are getting r to be this value right so you can just um put this in five characters or something for college board so that's 77.98 yeah this is five characters because the um decimal point also counts so you leave your answer like this you can also leave your answer as 77.99 that's basically your answer right now move on to our last question it says um it says the product of a number x and the number that is one less than x is equal to 320 what's the value of x right so essentially you can also use the tilter and you can also use the regression thing here right so using the regression thing here it says the product of x right so x1 times the number that is one less than x so that's basically x1 minus 1 and seeing this 320 right let's see what's the value of x basically put x1 here so this is your answer right so yeah you can tell me whether you need like a lot of hard SAT math questions i can generate them and you know i've taken the SAT so i can basically um try to remember the questions i've solved and get them for you and solve them here right okay. and i'm going to just um, twist them so that um college board doesn't see me or something like that. so yeah thank you very much for watching and please subscribe if the video was really really helpful please subscribe down there subscribing really helps me reach a lot of people so please subscribe thank you very much